All right, let's talk about Jarrett Stidham. Had a very good day. Definitely a surprise for the Raiders. So I want to talk about what he did well and what the Raiders offense as a whole did well and why you're definitely, uh, you know, feeling good about this. If you're a Raiders fan, obviously you are now out of the playoffs. So uh, it's unfortunate that you didn't get the win, but there were still some nice things in this game. And so I want to make a video about it. So let's just start off with the play you see on the screen. This is definitely something that we saw in this game was, you know, a lot of times the value of a running back is when they're not touching the ball. It's the attention that they get on plays that don't go their way. And that's what's going to happen here as it's a play action pass on a third down and two, definitely a running situation. So this is a good time to try and fool a defense. Look at how one car runs this play action. You're going to see that right here, uh, you know, you have a player who gets wide open. They, the play action really worked. And that's something that worked all game, I thought, was the play action, which is definitely frustrating San Francisco at times. Stidham makes the throw, and they're able to get a touchdown. Really good throw from Jarrett Stidham. And again, it helps that you have kind of your receivers healthy in this game, which Carr did not have all of this season. So that obviously is a benefit there. But still, uh, I really thought that the Josh Jacobs of it all was kind of the guy who made that play. But Stidham still did a very good job and good route from Darren Waller. Heading over to this play, it's going to be a, you know, a uh, similar kind of idea. It is going to still be a play action. You're going to have a receiver run over the middle, try to get into a gap in coverage underneath the cornerback who is further deep and underneath the safety who is further deep but past the linebackers. So if you can get the linebackers out of position, play action, throw over the middle. Kind of a simple concept. Look at how once Stidham runs this play, you're going to see that he makes this throw. And right here, it's not wide open. And this is kind of one of those plays where a lot of times it's not even about uh, you know, how good of a throw it is and more about when the throw is. Timing is very crucial on a play like this, but this is well-timed. As you see, once again, it's Darren Waller who's able to go up and make a grab. Again, helps that you're throwing to Darren Waller. That makes things easier, obviously, but still, it was a good play from Stidham. The fact that he can do this stuff and do this stuff consistently is still good to see, and it kind of reminds you of why there was a little bit of hype surrounding him when he was with New England of like, could he be a starter? It's because he does do some of this stuff very well, and he did fit into this offense very well. I think a play like this is another just great one from, from Hunter Renfro. This is something that we haven't seen a ton of from Hunter Renfro this season, and it's good to see it kind of come back because one of the things that made Renfro such an effective player last year was how the Raiders kind of just said, we're going to let you do your thing. We're going to give you a lot of freedom to kind of just do whatever you want. Only a couple of receivers tend to get that freedom, Devontae Adams being one of them. Renfro was another guy who was able to kind of get that freedom last year and really thrived in it. And this is going to be another example of just clever route running. I mean, this is just, you know, he runs routes that like no one else runs, basically. Watch how one this play begins. You see how he kind of fakes as though he's going to the inside. But here's where things get really interesting. Uh, so he fakes it as though he's going to the inside, but he stops right here. And so typically in this spot, what are you thinking? Okay, he's going to tell us where he's going after this point. You make one move and then you go. But this is where the route is really great from Renfro. Watch him fake going in and then gets to the outside. That completely fools uh, Mosley, the defender who's trying to cover him. Great stuff from Hunter Renfro. And again, if Darren Waller can get going, if Hunter Renfro can get going, that's good news for the Raiders who, you know, uh, regardless of where their quarterback, who their quarterback is next year, maybe it's still going to be Derek Carr, maybe it'll be Jarrett Stidham, maybe it'll be Tom Brady, I don't know. But regardless of who it's going to be, you feel good about the fact that your offense is kind of becoming the offense we thought it was going to be heading into this season. Obviously, you wish it happened earlier on in the year, but still. And you also had stuff like this, which I think is just really great stuff. This is going to be one of those Devontae Adams plays where Devontae Adams magic, if you will, just a great play from him. It's zone coverage, and you see where Adams is on the screen. He's the guy who I have circled in yellow. Worth noting the situation. Third down and four. And what Adams is going to do on this play, it's actually pretty simple. Watch him really just try and get into a gap in coverage right here. And I don't know, you could make this throw if you want to. Worth noting Stidham is now rolling outside the pocket. But this is tough. It's not wide open. It's a dangerous spot for Stidham and for the Raiders. So he doesn't want to make this throw now, which I think is probably the right play. But now is where we get to one of those classic dilemmas, right? Of you have a defender for San Francisco and the decision is, do you come in and do you stop Stidham or do you stay further deep and cover Adams? It's one of those classic dilemmas of, do you uh, tackle the quarterback or do you stay deep in coverage? Well, he's going to say, hey, I got a guy next to me. So let me try to make sure Stidham doesn't run for this first down on third and four. Watch as he moves in, but really they both moved in. And when Stidham, you know, he takes a hit as he's thrown, 
uh, as he's throwing it. But you see how open Adams got because Adams noticed what was happening and knew that if he got further down the field, he could get open. So just a smart play from Adams and a smart play from Stidham. Really good patience from Stidham, maybe more than anything, to be able to allow that play to work. As you see, Adams is able to make the grab and picks up a ton of yards after it. He gets into the end zone for a touchdown. Flag was on the defense, which was obviously declined, and the Raiders were able to score a touchdown there. So, again, just really good stuff from Stedham, really good stuff from Devontae Adams. The Raiders' offense working very well against a very good defense. Now heading over here, so this is going to be a, it's a second out of nine uh, situation. This is just a fun play from Stedham more than anything. I, I don't know what to take away from this, but kind of just goes to show he was feeling himself in this game things were going well we're just you know i'm not gonna break down the play just watch what happens Stidham takes the snap he's gonna run a play action and pressure gets there very quickly you see him be able to get around that first sack but now you have nick bosa who just has his arms on Stidham's sort of thighs right there Stidham is going down that's just what's happening and taking a sack here is a fine play from Stidham, but but he does look down the field and sees he has an open receiver watch Stidham somehow find a way to get the ball to matt collins and they pick up a first down so again Things were just working for Jarrett Stidham. I don't know what to make of this stuff. I don't know. You know, I, I liked Jarrett Stidham as a prospect coming out of college back in the day. So, uh, you know, I feel like I'm probably more pro Jarrett Stidham than the average person would be. I don't know what to make of this situation, though. I really don't. I mean, first, we can talk about the obvious, which is that he was very good in this game. I mean, that's something that's just fair to say is, you know, first, he was good in this game. That's, uh, to me, a, a fact, or I guess it could still be an opinion. But he looked very good in this football game and the fact that he was able to come in and play as well as he did is definitely promising now does this mean that he's going to be a star quarterback in the future probably not I mean in his you know previous stint with the Patriots where he got some playing time uh in 2020 didn't go too well a passer rating of 54.7 on uh you know 256 yards two touchdowns three interceptions so in a little bit of playing time there it did not go particularly well but here he was able to kind of you know flip things around and while two interceptions end up on his stat line they really weren't his fault I didn't think one was a tip pass the other was he got hit as he was thrown it's hard to blame him too much for that so I don't know at the very least you have to feel like assuming Josh McDaniels is going to be there next year you have a good backup quarterback which hey there is value in that um, but I think the main takeaway that I have with this game is the one about the Raiders. I think the Raiders have to feel very good about the situation they're in because of the offense looking like it, we expected it to look like heading into the season. And if it can continue to do that, that's where things can get exciting. But that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. Listen, how good do you feel about this game if you're a Raiders fan? Uh, you know, the fact that one of the better games of the season came with Jarrett Stidman as quarterback is a bad season. It just is. This has been such a disappointment. But again, you're looking for the silver linings and things, right? You're looking for things that can potentially give you hope for next season because that's where you're at right now as you are playing for next season. You're out of the postseason. Uh, that's just the reality of the situation.